Today we need to get into people upset that Usher never performed standing next to you at the Super Bowl and then other people are also saying that Usher had insulted Jungkook backstage during the Super Bowl and what that is about. We also need to get into Jungkook insulted and possibly upset over the Michael Jackson comparison. Say dumpling is Dave Desai, hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on, grab your dumpling, taste filling mug merch and let's go. It amazes me how someone can make a comparison or someone can say something, either that be an official or a headline or whatever it is, and suddenly a lot of haters come out of the woodwork, specifically people who are racist, and they kind of show their true colors in that sort of way. And it really sucks because Joan Cook and a lot of other great artists don't deserve this type of backlash and they definitely don't deserve racist comments. So what happened and what am I talking about? Recently there was an article stating their belief that a vocal trainer of Joan Cook compare Jungkook to Michael Jackson. It's stated in a way where it was his vocal teacher that was the one that made the comparison as opposed to the article making the comparison themselves, which is very important to note. Jungkook's vocal teacher mentioned that after seeing him perform, the vocal teacher was reminded that it felt like Jungkook was the evolved 21st century version of Michael Jackson. The vocal teacher wasn't necessarily comparing Jungkook to Michael Jackson, but more so saying that it looked like he was an evolved version of Michael Jackson. Jackson. So by going by this quote, it's not saying that he is the 21st century Michael Jackson, but more so that he's just the evolved version or the new version of Michael Jackson. However, even this comparison, as you can imagine, is going to get a lot of backlash, just like with any fandom. I mean, if there's a singer that gets compared to Jungkook himself, we can expect that there will be a bunch of armies in the comments stating how that person is nothing like Jungkook and that that person is not talented at all. Those comments are bound to happen when you have someone being compared to an icon and the icon's fans refuse to accept newer talent. These comments hold no merit because new people are always going to pop either more or comparable in talent. And also, for example, Michael Jackson had a really tough time coming down after a show, but now we have celebrity doctors and people who can do better with this sort of stuff compared to before. Of course, a lot of people were then also saying that it was very disrespectful to call Michael Jackson the king of pop and have this comparison. And of course, this has led to debate as to whether or not Jungkook is more than just an idol in K-pop or if he is considered like the king of pop now like Michael Jackson. And that debate is going to be more so up to you rather than anything that I can say because I think they're both really awesome. And I don't know if you can compare both styles to each other. I think Jungkook would be very flattered for the comparison just like the rest of the fandom might be. However, the only reason why he is being compared to Michael Jackson to begin with is because he made an album that had somewhat similar sound and style compared to Michael Jackson as well as having some dance moves that look very similar to what Michael Jackson did. But if Jungkook never did that, the name Michael Jackson would have never come up. I don't like this debate of saying that K-pop idols and then pop stars are something more. I don't know where this came from. The fact that just because you sing in another language that you're less than and this is coming from people who like K-pop, they're saying like you have to know your place. You're just a K-pop star, not a pop star. And it's like, wait, where did this thought process come from? Why is there a line between K-pop and pop? Of course, I can imagine Jungkook and many others becoming very hurt from this. While Jungkook last album was pop, I think when he reunites with BTS again, he's going to be making K-pop again. And for half the fandom to be thinking K-pop is less than, that's not good. Speaking of fans getting upset, people were extremely upset after Usher wasn't seen singing standing next to you during his Super Bowl performance. This was extremely interesting because a lot of people don't know why that song wasn't performed. It was believed that Usher was supposed to do one of the longest Super Bowl halftime shows ever in recorded history. So that's longer than like Michael Jackson, Beyonce, Beyonce, anyone who's ever performed, it was supposed to be a full 15 minutes, meaning he had about like two more minutes compared to everyone else, and thus probably could have added another song or something. And people were anticipating it to be Jungkook that would come out or something. Now, I didn't personally think that he would actually come out because he is in the military, but there were some people who were thinking that maybe he would be a hologram or that Jungkook would have a pre-recorded performance that Usher would play on screen, or even if it was like either a one minute opening or a one minute ending, that would be fun. After all, this was one of Usher's latest songs, and of course, it makes sense. However, typically with Super Bowl performances, I don't know if the artist actually gets to pick the song, because a lot of artists, when they perform at the Super Bowl, they're actually not performing songs that they just made, but typically songs that has kind of been a hit and a classic for many generations. So we have Beyonce singing her song Halo and singing her song Single Ladies, and these are songs that obviously have been such timeless classics for such a long time that they're easily recognizable to the American 
American people outside of just new songs that have freshly just been around. You have to keep in mind it's typically going to be songs that are like over 100 million people might even know, right? So while Jungkook's song Standing Next to You, his version, probably got over 100 million views, but the remix didn't. So that's probably a good reason as to why Usher may not have decided to perform that song. However, even though that song wasn't performed, interestingly enough, Jungkook was still being looked at, or I think Usher was being looked into, and thus his recent stuff started to come out to surface, and actually Standing Next to You ended up hitting top charts. And I think it went all the way to number one pretty quickly, but it like definitely traveled all the way from like 87 to 50 or whatever it was very quickly. Now, it was no surprise that Jungkook wasn't going to be at the Super Bowl. I don't even know if Usher got notified of his performance before Jungkook left. So if Usher did, and if Usher was like, oh, I want to perform this, then there's a chance that Jungkook could have something pre-recorded or something. But chances are Usher probably didn't know before. And even if he did, Usher was probably going to perform more of his timeless classics that were known throughout history, as opposed to some of the newer stuff. Also, typically artists don't do remixes like a Super Bowl thing. They typically just do original music. However, they do feature a lot of artists, so it wouldn't be out of possibility if that did happen. However, there were a lot of people upset and even accusing Usher of using Jungkook for clout and insulting Jungkook and all those things. And for that, I have a few things I need to say. First off, why was this accusation being thrown around? Well, people thought this because for Usher's promo and even the Super Bowl promos, we were hearing things like the song standing next to you in the background. So people thought that it must be in the show as they were kind of heavily teasing that song. However, fans are not so easily persuaded by that as there's been a moment in the past, like the Grammys, in which it felt like the members would win something and they didn't. There was also even a promo of the military bases, I think in one of the Super Bowl promotion things. So people thought that maybe the Super Bowl would actually air at the military and that we would see Jungkook perform at the military. However, all of this is wild speculation because the chances of them doing that stuff and also him performing while he's enlisted is going to be pretty low. Well, I believe there was a thing that said that they could perform while enlisting. I doubt he had even like the time or the chance to have done rehearsals and it just wouldn't have been enough time for him to get it together to do the Super Bowl. In which case, if Jungkook had done it and then did it terribly, it would have been worse for him. Also, we are forgetting the fact that just because we see a military base in the Super Bowl promos doesn't necessarily mean that it's Jungkook or it's even a Korean thing at all because we are currently kind of in a time of crisis right now where there's wars going on. So perhaps it's a reference more so to that than a Korean pop star. It's also important to talk about the fact that even days or weeks before Usher's performance and after it was announced that Usher will be performing at the Super Bowl, people were immediately saying that Usher was using Jungkook for clout. And to this, I have to say, what is going on? What is the thought process behind this? Some of these people literally live in an alternate universe. In what world does a huge global pop star like Usher, who's been around for literal decades, going to need anyone's clout? Like, he's good on his own? He's got this? Also, in what universe is the freaking Super Bowl in need of clout? One of the biggest events in worldwide history is not going to need clout from any specific artist. It kind of irks me or makes me a little upset when fans believe that BTS is the only artist in the world that has clout and that there's no other artist in the world that can compare, when in reality we have so many artists that have done so well. Of course, I'm not trying to take away from the fact that Jungkook has done really well, but people have been taking away from those artists that have done really well. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out page enough for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for the comment right here. Love you. Bye.